Welcome back, everybody, for some more Mongol Empire. Last time we did Zhongdu, aka Beijing, and now we're going back to Russia, Ukraine. Actually, these are both in Ukraine, but still, it's a good 35 years later, so this is going to be after Genghis Khan dies. Uh, Kiev, 1240, one by one, the Rus' princedoms had fallen to the invaders from the east. Only Kiev remained standing on the threshold of the west. On June the 1st, 1215, the city of Chengdu, known today as Beijing, fell to the Mongols. They looted the city, sending caravans loaded with luxuries back home. This victory over the Qin dynasty was to be one of Genghis Khan's greatest triumphs. After his death in 1227, his descendants continued the conquests, and his grandson, Batu Khan, had his eyes on the West. The Mongol raids of the 1220s had shown that the Rus lands held riches worth exploiting. The battles had devastated the Rus elite, and their defenses were weak. So Batu Khan organized an enormous invasion force, determined to turn the Rus lands into vassals of the Mongol Empire. The Mongols captured territory after territory. By 1240, they had their sights on the great city of Kiev. Kiev was a jewel among the Rus' principalities, a center of scholarship, power, and wealth. Batu Khan's cousin Monka was put in command of the advance force, ready to attack. Chroniclers tell of Monka's admiration for the beauty of Kiev, so he was reluctant to destroy it. Monka sent his envoys to the city, to demand its surrender. But Kiev's commander in charge refused and killed the Mongol envoys. Monka would not stand for such disrespect. His army rode to the city walls and prepared to attack. They would show Kiev no mercy. with no survivors. That was a really cool shot of Kiev that they had. Anyway, angered by Kiev's defiance, Monka Khan knew he must make an example of the proud city. Europe would hear of Kiev's mistake, paid for in blood and ash. Anyway, it looks like we're going after another big city. Whoa. Monke Khan's drive into the west brought the Mongol army to the splendid city of Kiev, the gateway to Europe. The Kievan commander had refused to surrender, leaving Monke only one choice, to take the city by force. Okie dokie. Let's -a go. You got some trebuchets and a ram. Some traction trebuchets even. I forgot to mention this in my Civ overview, but these are actually uh, unique units for Mongols. They're kind of like faster, weaker uh, trebuchets. Cheaper as well. But let's get to Trebin. Plop. Eh, that's actually pretty underwhelming. Ah, here's Monka. Have our horsey boys loop around. Whoa, 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 you're going after the crab. That's not cool. Oh, yeah, fast fire rate. Okay, uh, let's just bring in the ram. 
We are still only in the Feudal Age, no Castle Age just yet. Okay, so we have our regular arrows, but we also have production. Rallies nearby allied buildings to produce units and research technology faster for 15 seconds. Okay. So, that sounds decent enough. Got a bunch of archers, mangudai. We seem to have full feudal age upgrades, at least as far as the blacksmith goes. Um, well... Mall's over here. There's a trade site and some deer over here. So we got food, wood, and gold, potentially, way out here in the back of the map. That could be quite nice. Come on. There we go. The Mongol army broke through the gates. I guess we have to be getting some villagers eventually, right? If we're getting the uh, faster production speed. Speak of the devil. Monka Khan called on his people to bring in their mobile camp, while his forces uh, secured the location. Let's clean this up. Yep. Before we decide exactly where we want to settle. The immediate area beyond Kiev's main gate was lightly populated, but rich in resources. Beyond lay three fortified districts. Okay. An outer city, the inner city, and a wealthy trade district. The Khan was so there's some stone right there the where we could get our oboe. And would not relent until the entire city fell to ash. But do we want to build up our eco back out here where it's safe? I feel like you kind of want to do that. Okay, we'll see... I, mean, like, I don't know, there's still dudes over here. kind of want to get my eco going. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. Town center comes up over here. Other buildings, villagers, come up over here. At least some, some villagers. Half and half. Seems fair. You can always build another town center. I mean, we're actually kind of sort of running out of units. Um, okay. That wasn't really part of the plan. Okay. Stable, I guess. The Mongols what? unpacked their camp, ready to continue their assault on Kiev. That was so weird. Well, we can't get trading. Let's get some mango dye going. Yeah, I don't really want any spearmen right now. So I guess we have to work more to get into the city. So I guess we're supposed to get just a couple markets down. It's weird that they gave us deer stones when the silver tree would be so much more useful. But let's see what we can do. That guy's walking in place. Okay, so we have all those upgrades, although we do have... We can't get the improved ones if we have stone. Or if we're in range of the, uh, the oboe. Get you guys going. Should be good enough for now. 
I mean, we have essentially like three TCs working, right? Oh yeah, we can uh, increase our production. See how good that is. Um. Okay. You know what? They didn't lie. It increases our production. That it does. Okay, so we got nine Magadai and uh, Monka. Let's see what we can find. Looks like we already have Refutilate Blacksmith upgrades. They already have Castellate upgrades, though. That's kind of rough. There is gold over here. These guys aren't really trading as well as I would hope. They probably are just in Castle Age. 30 gold per trip is not the most overwhelming either. Still, we gotta do what we gotta do. Let's just see if we can maybe drop a second TC around here. Okay, not right there. Almost afford one. Oh, not over there. Let's try that direction. Okay, so we literally can't go, like, anywhere in the city. Start at least getting some pastures going. Oh, you're chopping trees. That is silly. Hunting guys. Guess, um, do we keep going with Mangudai? Probably. We just need to get upgrades. All right, they're using spearmen and archers. I guess, do we just want men at arms? <laughs> it sounds weird. But I mean, we do have this barracks, right? But we need Castle Age for that. Let's see if we can try and start to collect some stone. Pastures. Oh yeah, our deer stones thing. It'll uh, improve the speed of our traders. Oh, whoops, that's not the button I wanted. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, those have men at arms and crossbowmen. Those are castle age units. Um, um, what are they being boosted by? Oh, a warrior monk. Oh, that's a warrior monk. Uh oh. Well, let's just get you into safety.
Oops. Are you, these guys are just going to destroy my town center. Awkward. But, I mean, just got to keep on keeping on, I guess. Can't build any walls, which is kind of annoying. Hopefully they won't pursue me outside of Kiev, though. But, like, their army's just so much better than mine. And, and there's just not a whole lot I can do about that for now. Okay. Um, yeah, you go back over there. Okay, they are attacking me over here. So, uh, yeah, this is not working out. Let's just hope that this is like... It said three minutes, so I think that's just like right after we get our reinforcements. All right, so we do not have the time to build up an economy at all. I guess they want us just to push into the city, like, right away. The immediate area beyond Kiev's main gate was lightly populated, but rich in resources. Beyond lay three fortified districts. The outer city, the inner city, and a wealthy trade district. The Khan was determined to punish the defiance of Kiev, and would not relent until the entire city fell to ash. Go for it. I mean, we just don't really have a whole lot to work with here. Yes, these upgrades. Okay, well, we need to get this town center down. Let's get the, uh, hobo. The Mongols unpack their camp, ready to continue their assault on Kiev. What if you go like Fast Castle into Men at Arms? I know it sounds dumb, but I feel like in this particular instance, it's kind of what we want. What's that? What are you doing? I won't have no crusaders attacking my trade routes. Roots. The Mongols took out a Kievan supply oh. convoy and claimed the resources for themselves. Don't mind if I do. Maybe this is what we were supposed to be doing. To uh, jumpstart our eco. Okay, that's only 100 gold. Let's use our production speed thing. Um, because we do have our Gur, Jur here, we can get uh, these guys. They only cost stone. Let's get another one over there. Oh yeah, build up Rico. Yeah, this is pretty nice for boosting our eco. 
Kind of want to. Okay, I'm gonna send like all of these guys over here. I'm gonna build a, a girl. Cause they're just out of food. Maybe you'll have food. Well, that's wood. I'm gonna mark it. Another hundred gold. Okay, let's go for these guys. We can click up the castle age and go for um Curl tie or step redoubt. Step redoubt gives us more gold income, but I feel like we're gonna need to not die. And the curl tie gives us extra HP regeneration and a damage boost if we're uh, you know in the uh, the area with our our con. Kind of want to get this forward a little bit at least so we can get some kind of unit production. Oh, I doubt. Give me my yummy food. Uh oh. That's an issue. Did we play like the intro wrong? Because we just can't deal with this. Okay, this is kind of a frustrating one. They just attack you so quickly with so many units and you have no base. We did lose one of our trebuchets. Monkey Khan's drive into. All right. Maybe we should just take this a bit slower. Okay, here come the spearmen and the archers. Go get them! Okay. Should be good. Now let's go on to the other one. Oh, that guy got rocked. Plop, plop. Now let's see how many units we can keep alive. I got 23 spearmen, 18 archers. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Again, no, no, no. Not, not the trash. Okay, 
work out fine. Now for the gate. Not losing a massive amount of units. Here we can use our um, attack speed bonus again. Okay, so we're, we're like a lot smarter about how we take this first fight. broke through the gates of Kiev and marched on the city. Yes, yes, yes. Very nice. Khan called on his people to bring in their mobile camp while his forces secured a location for it. Well, I mean, like, our, our troops are still kind of dying. They're, they're sending a lot of stuff at us. Kiev's main gate, was lightly populated, but rich in resources. Beyond lay three fortified districts. The outer city, the inner city, and a wealthy trade district. The Khan was determined to punish the defiance of Kiev, and would not relent until the entire city fell to ash. Okay, let's not send in the bills. Buildings block. Back speed. Okay. Mongols unpack their camp, ready to continue their assault on Kiev. We definitely have more than what we had last the time. took out a Kievan supply convoy and claimed the resources for themselves. Oh wow, I already have enough resources. Okay, this is good. Good, good, good. And also because we have so much, so much stone. Boom. Get all the eco upgrades. So yeah, we can also heal up our units. It's gonna be good. Okay, so we got, like, an upgrade and a half right there. Or no, two and a half upgrades. Good, good, good. Okay, let's get some men at arms going. Let's go even get a second barracks. Let's also repair our trebuchets. It would be very good if we could, uh, you know, start to take more ground. Uh, 
Yeah, honestly, let's just start to get some uh, pastures over here. Put them a little further away. Repair, repair. Yeah, at least this jur jur is nearby. All right. You guys are, are getting healed. We we're pretty much there. We also have a ram here. Okay, things are looking a bit better. you up. Oh, that also has a Spring Gold encampment. Oh, here they come. Uh, can we get that guy? Still going all the way out for a second town center. Let's get one a bit closer. Get more resources nearby. Once we clear out this area. Smith. Move up a curl tie. Okay, our population is still pretty crappy, which is not promising, but can't have everything in life. Does it heal Trebs too? It does. Impressive. Okay, that's a um, that's another stable. It's got another barracks. Hmm? Oh. 
Oh, stop it. Oh, and there they are. Kind of, sort of, holding them off? Kind of, sort of? God. Those cross women? I don't know. Tide does help, to be fair, and the fact that we have our Trebs alive is also very beneficial. I guess we can get an arsenal to get extra armor and whatnot. The Trebs are like a lot more useful as just support units than I thought. Make sure we're matching up our correct units. Five hundred food. Oh my god, that's so good. There's our convoy. Okay. Our population is slowly climbing. At the very least, we have better armor. This is, like, so hard, man. Ourselves a grr, a grr. I'll never be consistent in that that thing's pronunciation. Okay, let's see if we can retreat at least from there for a little bit. We have enough angles that we're fighting on. Wait, we're not using any range units right now. Going full melee. So I actually got our con here at our curl tie. Which, by the way, has been totally saving our butts already. Oh my god, 60 pop. I feel like I'm just rich. 
feel like I'm Jeff Bezos, man. Okay, let's bring uh, our Trebs forward. We're already 40 minutes into this video, oh my god. Another hobo over here. No. Get our signal arrow thing. Okay, we have to fight whatever is going on over there. This is too annoying. That's too much, man. Okay, at least I'm getting resources this way. Actually, let's just get everybody over. Oh yeah, trade. Um, seems like something I don't want to invest in right now. Men-at-arm, knights, lancers, whatever. Oh, whoops. Let's get you around the correct building. This is going to be one long-ass video. I mean, we have eight, eight armor on our swordsmen. Come on, you guys got this. Okay, maybe not. You. Well, at least these just seem to be a few archers. Wait, what? Oh, there's no, like, everything is a building. I'm kind of getting to the feeling that we need to start thinking about trade. Holy crap, that's such a big army. Uh, 
think we'll be fine. Let's get uh, this repaired. See if we can get our improved siege axles thing. I do feel like we still are going for the right army composition. I feel like Mangudai are like the last thing we want. Wait, we can't build trams? What? Well, I guess those two were our only two. More is the pity. Okay, finally starting to make some headway. Let's finish this guy up. Should probably gather yeah, wood with more than two villagers. Might be a good idea. Knock, knock. Let's get our uh, double production going. broke in over here. Let's build the market over here. They'll just have to accept it. Yeah, I think getting those blacksmith upgrades was a huge, uh, hugely important thing. Or there is just a lot more gold here that we could take. That's also, like, a thing. Okay. 
Well, there went that guy. little bit out of... Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, whoa, getting some resources. Oh, it's even more gold. Sick. Go away. Trade district gotten. The unstoppable Mongol army leveled the trade district of Kiev, putting an end to any supplies they could send to the main city. So many mineral resources. Okay, now I think we're on the uh, the path. Start double producing units. Don't lose our trade carts. This is probably the single hardest scenario we've done so far. Can we have some rams? Although I do feel like it'll probably, hopefully, get easier. Alright, let's see what our gold we're getting from this guy. 178. The most I've seen is like 500. But that was in a, uh, essentially like a custom game. But that's like on an eight-player map size, you can get that. Onward and upward we go! We got all our army here. Make sure we use our double production, because why not? Attack speed buff. Also, let's pick up our coral tie. Bring it up closer. So let's get um, I mean, 500 stone. Oh, sorry. But uh, that's a 45% increase to our movement speed uh, for rams and stuff. Go. Yeah, this video will just have to be like an hour, a little more than an hour long. Nothing to do for it. Oh man, this pearl tie has saved us so hard, though. And I believe this is actually one of those things that is the same in multiplayer as it is here in this campaign. If it's not the exact same, then it's like very, very, very similar. It's kind of strange that they don't want us to be making mango die, though. I mean, like, we're allowed to make them, but their army composition is not one that, uh... You want to be making them against? Oh, 
Like, we bump them against, like, swordsmen or crossbowmen or something. I guess this is the inner city. Are we supposed to... How are we supposed to get over there? Oh no, this, that is the outer city. Oh yeah, now we have drill, essentially. More production buildings closer to the action. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not a fan of this. Hello? Oh, you're getting knocked down fast. Oh no, not the frickin' villagers. Man, this place is big. Yeah, hopefully this uh, much closer production will help out. In case you're wondering, Lou, why don't you just move all your production over? It's because I actually want to also increase the total number of buildings. I also don't want to stop my production in the meantime. Because you don't have much, uh, or many units left. Maybe we can get some more of these guys going. Them down. Also, we have like a bajillion resources. So we can do stuff like that. Get some more rams. Oh, I just need to put like a bajillion at two barracks. One ninety six gold, seventeen food, seventeen wood. Not half bad. Yeah, let's get our uh, curl tie over. Um, no. Oh, wait, what about our deer stones? Oh, come on. There we go. 
Almost there. Uh, what was that? Lots and lots of buildings. But I, I assume that the inner city is much smaller. Ah, uh, but it's also more well defended. Makes sense. Man, look at her pop go. I'm so proud. Wait, did I lose my cruel tie? I know that would just be like landmark destroyed. I think. Oh, I mean, that's what it is in multiplayer. I don't know why I'm using that as a point of reference. That's all the crossbowmen. And crossbowmen do counter both of my units here. Or both of my main military units. I guess I could switch into Mangudai. And I lost my arsenal. Yep. Love it when they make my game freeze for a second. Uh, I need to be using my con ability. Actually, now I need to go to the production. That's what I really need. Look, look at all these units I have queued up. Alright, let's see them fly out. Let's see some perfusion goths. Oh, yeah. Now that's the stuff that everyone really likes to see. <laughs> we still have some rams left. No complaints there. <laughs> oh, that was pretty glorious. Final charge, guys. The horde devastated the outer city. This is like the equivalent of the uh, the Orleans scenario in, uh, well, the Hundred Years' War campaign. It's just like so grindy. Although in that one it's like because you couldn't make any gold units. This one is just... It's insanely hard early on just because they spam, you know, infinite units at you. You have nothing... There we go! <laughs> it's so insane! This is just nonsense. It's like instantly pop cap yourself. Oh hey, it's the Abbey of the Trinity. I'm actually running, running a little bit low on food, but I'm not too concerned at this rate. Hey, what was, like, all over here? Maybe let me know in the comments. Because there's still, like, a lot of map left to explore. But yeah, things should be wrapping up here. It's, of course, almost 1 a.m. for me. Oh yeah, let's just record another campaign video before bed. Famous last words.
And we're getting plenty of extra resources from destroying these buildings. Yeah, it's like, especially once we got access to the, the golden stuff over here. Like, well, I guess once we cleared this hurdle, it became really quite easy. Okay, that's a little bit annoying, I'm not gonna lie. Whatever. Whew. Yeah, I, I'd say that's the As hardest the scenario yet. Collapsed, the Mongol victory was complete. Like, it was really grindy. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, but in the beginning, it's just straight hard. <laughs> Monka Khan and his Mongol warriors ran freely through the ravaged city. Aw, they're down any gracefully and running freely. With Kiev under Mongol control, the gateway to Europe was open, and the Empire could continue its conquest into the west. Into the sunset. Alright, now that was a well-earned win. Yeah, like, there weren't really any side quests or anything like that. Uh, Monka Khan and Kiev raised Kiev and plundered its treasures. The Mongols' path to Europe was now wide open. And that was Kiev 19... or 1940. <laughs> I'm tired, guys. 1240, and now we're going to be going to 1241. We're going to the Holy Roman Empire, it looks like, with Leignitz. See you guys next time for that one.